Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So imagine you have a deal and there's a contact. Let's call him James, just for argument's sake, right? James is really, really excited about your product. He loves it. He, he requested a trial. He's been speaking to the BDRs. It's, it's very qualified. He absolutely loves it. And at, at some point, he's like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to buy. You send him the quote. He says, like, I get back to you before the end of the month. So everything's looking good. And then he goes silent. And you send him an email, and there's no reply. Send him another email. Try to ring him at the office. He's in a meeting. You call him at his mobile, and you get to speak to him. And he says, you know, I really wanted to buy, but the team went another direction. Sounds familiar? Ha happened to me, I think, to all of us. Oh, should I start over? <laughs> Was I loud enough? <laughs> that has to do with stakeholder management. You, you really you need to know who the, who the real stakeholders are. Um, I think that's where most mistakes in sales are made. It's also the passport to progress in your sales career, to become an enterprise sales rep at some point. It's, it's really about knowing who the stakeholders are and, and managing them well. Um, also in transactional sales, if you're in, in SMB sales, this is also relevant because very often you will find that there's, uh, that there's a guy who's like the, the self-proclaimed decision maker and he says, you know, I'm, I'm buddies with the CIO. I, I know he, he, he's going to go with my decision, right? Um, I qualify this, but he, he, I make the decision, he's going to just approve. And in the end, it might, might go another way. So there's three things in stakeholder management that's really essential. First of all, of course, you need to know who the stakeholders are. So it's, it's discovery. And there's a, a couple of opportunities where you can do that. So, so in the first conversation, you can, can really ask through like, okay, so you, you tell me you're going to make the decision. Who is going to make this decision with you and who else and who else? So you, you expand and, and you try to uncover some of the team. You can also specifically ask for other lines of businesses. So if you're speaking to IT, you can ask like what department is going to use this tool most and, and in that way try to bring on a couple of users in the deal as well. Um, you can, can maybe ask specifically for who will look at legal, who's, who's going to do the legal negotiation, who's going to look at the contract, who's responsible for budgets. You know, you, there's a couple of discovery questions that you can ask so that you really get to know who your stakeholders are. And when you know who they are, it's important to map them out. So, so what I used to do is, what I, what I try to do in deals is really kind of have an organizational chart of the sea level at the top and then who reports to who and really map out all the decision makers, all the, the champions, the users, um, the, the economic buyers, so the people that, that determine the budgets but may not be the direct decision maker in the, in the project. So, so you really try to, to map out everybody's role, even the blockers, um, in a deal. Um, and, and I think it's, it's not only about the, the organizational chart that you'll find on LinkedIn, right? It's not only about their, their job title that they have in the company, it's, it's really also this, this role that they play in, in your project. Um, then you also want to determine the level of engagement you want to have with them because in, in larger deals there's going to be too many people to, to con constantly uh, call everybody directly. So there's there's the key people, the key decision makers, the people that you engage with a lot. Um, you, you invite them to the events that your company organizes. You, you give them weekly updates. You, you invite them to all the calls. There's a group that you maybe give a weekly update, but you don't need to engage with in a, on a very high level. And there's a group that, that's maybe enough to just give a monthly update. So, so try to map out for yourself, who do I want to engage with in the project? And then last, probably most important, is really managing these stakeholders. Because you will not be in all the meetings, and most likely you won't be in the meeting where the actual decision is made whether or not they're going to go with your project, with your, with your product or, or whatever you're selling. So you need to coach your stakeholders to, to sell your product internally. And, and I think the best way to do is to just ask questions. Um, how do you look at our company uh, and how do we compare to competitors? What do you know about our product? Um, what, what, what counter arguments would you expect from colleagues? And you try to coach them, you try to set them up to sell the product internally. 
and, and they will get these questions. They will get questions around budget. Like this is a more expensive tool. Why would we go with this solution? And they need to have their answers ready. So basically you're, you're training them to sell your product internally. Um, and, and that's, I think, I think, key in stakeholder management that you, you set them up, not, not just the people that are, are highly engaging with you because they may not be the main decision makers. So to wrap that up, three things that's important. Keep discovering stakeholders. People change. Um, they bring on more people during the project. People change jobs. Um, it's, it's a continuous practice. It's not just a one-off. Take your time to do that initially and keep doing it during the project. Map them out, the organizational chart, but also their role that they're going to have in the project and how much engagement you want to have with them. And last, coach them, use them, because they need to sell your product internally. So I hope you can use this in your day-to-day your -day jobs, and um, thanks. Thank you very much.